It's been almost six months since our last update about Dutch farming company Frunz & Agriculture. Harvest 2020 threw up many weather-related challenges. First, it was hot and dry. When it did start raining, it never really stopped. This greatly impacted us filming all the action. However, we've got some great footage to show you from the onion and hemp harvest in September and sugar beet lifting in December. So sit back and enjoy. Harvesting the onions usually starts early September, when the crop has matured and the tops have died off. In 2012, Frunzen, a neighbouring farmer but, had this harvester custom built for them by engineering firm Hagro Agriservice, who used a Matriot M41 H sugar beet harvester as the basis. It is powered by a 408 horsepower Deutz V6 engine, located next to the offset cab. Because the Holaris Holm topper proved too heavy for the front axle, it is required to top the onions in a separate pass. When conditions are right, this machine has an impressive capacity, lifting two 1.5 meter wide beds and putting them in a single swap. To increase the lifting capacity, this Dutch-built Holaris front harvester was bought. Both the topping and lifting gear is in front of the Fent 724. A machine at the rear is used to sieve out loose soil and put the onions in a swath. Instead of travelling in between the beds on small row crop tyres, the tractor can be left on its wide tyres, reducing soil compaction. After they have been lifted, the onions are left to cure in the field. Depending on the weather, this can take anywhere between two to seven days. The New Holland T6070 in front of the VSS AMAC onion lifter belongs to neighboring farmer Butt, with whom Frunzen shares some machinery. As this field is behind the main farm, two three-axle Baco trailers are sufficient to keep up. The tractor is using RTK GPS to drive in a straight line and yield data is mapped to know exactly which parts of the field performed above or below average. For example, based on this data, compost can be variably applied across the field. A new Mechatec box filler fills the wooden boxes. This automatically unstacks empty boxes and stacks the full ones, which reduces the workload for both forklift drivers. Because the machine can buffer a certain amount of produce, the whole process doesn't stop when switching boxes. The onions are stored in the cold store where they are further dried by hot air. During the next 10 months, they'll be sorted, graded and packed at the farm's own facilities.
In 2020, fibre hemp was grown on the farm for the first time. In the middle of September, this crop was ready to be harvested. Considering it was sown only early June, it grew an impressive amount during only 14 weeks. Haygrow Agri-Service build a special attachment, which makes it possible to harvest the seed heads separately from the stalks, which are chopped up and swathed. The whole plant is used, but the different parts need different treatments. The stalks are chopped into 30 centimetre lengths and left in the field to due rot. Once the bark is separated from the core, it is chopped by a forage harvester and further processed. We did not catch this action, but you can see a video of it on the YouTube channel for Tractor Spotter. The Fent 924 uses both a Shelbourne Reynolds stripper header and Kemper maize header to harvest the crop. The seed heads are conveyed into potato boxes, which are driven on tilting box trailers alongside. Because it was so dry at the time, the crop's fibres were very tough, making it difficult to cut the crop. Growing a new crop throws up many challenges. Hemp requires very little input to grow, doesn't need chemicals and is fully biodegradable. It also performs well on lower quality soils and under dry conditions. This makes it an ideal break crop between the root crops. As soon as the first fields are cleared, compost is being spread, as we have showed you in the previous video. This job continues throughout the autumn months. The Teba spreader is this time being loaded by a Volvo L60E loading shovel. This field grew early potatoes, a high input crop which means that organic matter needs to be added as to not deplete the soil nutrient levels. By spreading compost every few years, the soil organic matter can hopefully be raised slightly. On this light silt soil, the organic matter content varies from 1.5 to 2%. Every percent can raise yields by as much as 30%. It aids water infiltration, improves the soil structure and enhances soil life. This means there is a world to win for both the farmer and the environment. After a very dry and hot September, the rain came and it pretty much didn't stop raining for the rest of the year. Lifting potatoes and planting tulip bulbs proved just as difficult as it had been in 2019. Because field work turned into a grab and run affair, we sadly could not catch any footage. We return to the farm on the 9th of December. It is still wet, but the last fields of sugar beet have to be harvested. The six-wheeled Vivart Beet Eater 925 has no trouble travelling across the field, lifting nine rows at a time. Because the crop is stored at two different farms, three tractor and trailer combinations are kept busy carting. The Fent 930 is joined by two of the 724s. Lifting the sugar beet is the only job on the farm that is carried out by a contractor. As you will have noticed, the sugar beet leaves have partially died off. This is not only because of the time of the year, but also due to a very high disease pressure, especially from Cercospora. Since 2019, Dutch beet growers haven't been allowed to use neonicotinoid treated seed. In turn, there is a lot of aphid damage that is costing yield. This means that farmers have to spray more, where previously they didn't have to spray at all. It is just one of the challenges that farmers have to cope with in this day and age. We have come to the end of our 2020 series at Frunzen Agriculture. Via this way, we would like to thank the Frunzen family and the whole team for allowing us to look over their shoulders with our cameras. We are pleased to announce that we will be back with more videos this year. In fact, 
The first one has already been completed and we will publish it on our YouTube channel very soon. Keep watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.